So I actually knew Andrew before Jess met Andrew. We were at a football bar watching football and he just said something like really weird and silly and I was like, oh my God, I told my friend, how did Jess never met him before? And so I immediately was like texting her and being like, you have got to meet Andrew, you're gonna love him. And it's New Year's Eve, it's Ashley's house in Hoboken. Jess got a big pimple on her forehead. Andrew had a lisp. Uh, and they met at this party and they've literally talked to each other every single day since that party in 2011. They're such klutzes, they're perfect for each other. Uh, there's always been something just different about Jess, but it's the way that Andrew reacts to her, which is kind of what has always made her a little different from all the other ones. She's fun. Uh, she makes him happy. They have a great time together. Uh, you can actually see he's happy. And when Jess is sad, he's sad too, because he'll do as much as he can to try to make her happy. And when she's not, he feels sad too. Um, he'll go that extra mile, and I haven't seen him do that before for any other girl. Like, yeah, Andrew's yeah. like so sweet like that. He's a really, really thoughtful individual and, and really cares, but kind of does it in a way that acts like he hasn't put in so much thought into planning things and, and doing things that are really special for Jess. <laughs> I've never met any of her other boys. <laughs> she kept them very secret. I said they weren't winners, so now that we have a winner, she introduced them. <laughs> what I love about them together is that they're so similar in so many ways, but also completely different. And I think that one thing that really joins them together is honestly how quirky and mm -hmm. weird they are. They like, can laugh at anything. And... He asked me several days earlier, like, hey, we should go to this restaurant Thursday. And I was like, okay, yeah, like definitely. Like I knew something was up. So the day of, he was like really weird about the time and like, ah, oh, I think we should go in 10 minutes. Like, mm, let's, well, you know, not yet. Like, let's give it a few minutes, then we'll walk down. And I was like, okay, gee, like what's going on? And then he walked out of the room and he had like a very obvious square <laughs> box shaped item in his pocket. <laughs> then we went down by the water because we lived like two blocks from this like walking path on the river. He proposed and then one of his, his best man actually was like hiding in a bush the whole time taking pictures so he choked out which was actually very surprising. They have like this tripod of a relationship with Andrew's best friend growing up, Krieger. I think they all got engaged that day. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Krieger should be the third person in the wedding yeah. for sure. And then he um, had arranged for a bunch of our friends to be at a bar in Jersey City after. So we went there and they surprised me, which was really, really fun. And just right after I spoke, I came down and she was like, you need to marry us. And they weren't even engaged. Yeah, they weren't even engaged at that point. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Uh, and fast forward to this day, like I'm marrying them tonight. I love when they're at the beach house. She's just like completely at home, like with the family and everybody. Yeah. Like it's, it's like meant to, be part of the family. Like she dishes it just as well as anybody else, which is pretty yeah. hilarious. And she couldn't be happier to be becoming a, a member of the Cohen family. She's been counting down the days and she's ready to be Jessica Cohen. Some moments that led to this really special day. It was the eve of December 31st, 2011. Jessica had a big pimple on her face. <laughs> Andrew had low blood sugar levels. <laughs> well, eventually, uh, Jess was able to cover up that pimple. Andrew found some glucose, although Ber we know Bernie was often there to steal them. Um, and off they went to Ashley's New Year's Eve rager, not knowing they would end up meeting each other that night. They went to Ashley's party looking for IPAs and Chardonnay, but they ended up finding each other. Jess and Andrew have literally been talking to each other every single day since that initial meeting, and now here we are. So let's talk about Andrew for a bit. I didn't know what college was gonna be like. I didn't actually think I'd ever be there. So um, meeting someone like Andrew was just 
extraordinary because he made my life that much easier in college. So I have known Andrew since the sixth grade. Uh, we went to middle school, high school, and college together. So we didn't exactly branch out too much. Sophomore year, I went abroad for an entire year. Andrew really missed me to a point that he came to Italy just to see me. He says he went to Florence, but I know it was because of me. It was after college that uh, Andrew and I both moved home uh, because in 2009, after you graduate, you move home with your parents. That's the cool thing to do. One day we were at Arby's, kind of gross, but we actually came up with a master plan and moved to Hoboken. Uh, it was after 11 years of not branching out, we said, why start now? So we decided to become roommates for the next five years. Coming back to my room and at 11 o'clock at night, every night we'd watch The Fresh Prince and it made me feel like I was at home with my brothers just chilling. So I needed that from Andrew and he, he made that happen for me. That was perhaps one of the best times of my life. But it was during our time living together in Hoboken, it's where we met a group of Dickinson guys that we would become very close with. And it was through this group of guys that eventually we would meet Jessica Taylor Dan. Now, uh, when they first met, they hit it off. And for their first date, they went to the Liberty Science Center. It was there that Jess forgot to uh, tell Andrew about her crippling fear of IMAXs. Uh, she proceeded to just go in there. She was sweating, she was dizzy, and literally holding on to him for dear life. It was, I think, that point that I realized there might be something a little special about Jess. Jess is truly a beautiful person. She is hilarious, caring, compassionate, and has so much love to give to those around her. So because she's so amazing, I was very excited to hear about a boyfriend or a guy that she met on New Year's Eve that she knew right away would be her future husband. As the protective best friend, I had high expectations for Andrew, and he has lived up to every single one. When I met them, I instantly saw their bond and how much he cared for her. As their relationship has grown over the past years, I've seen the immense love that they have had for each other. They've supported each other when things get rough and celebrated all of life's many happy moments. I believe to truly love someone is to see their weird perks and to think that they're amazing and special, and I really think that that's what Jess and Andrew have in each other. I know that their love will continue to grow strong and they will be able to cherish all many life's happy moments that life will bring their way. So I'm happy for him today. And Jess is, like, him marrying Jess, believe me, I don't care if he gets the promotion or ever becomes CEO, that's the reason why he's doing better in life. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Jessica. Take you, Jessica. Take you, Andrew. For my lawful wife. For my lawful husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health until death do us part. In sickness and in health until death do us part.